What's up everybody and welcome back here to Torque Drift on my Galaxy S10 Plus here on the mobile platform. If you haven't guessed by the title, we did get a car in a sponsor crate and uh, it is that of the G35 of the Slap Train. So we did get Slap Train's car in a uh, crate. So we're going to give his car a rip, see what we can do with it. Um, I know a lot of people who um, have bought this car and all that, and, you know, to support Slap Train and everything on those. And it's really awesome. You know, I was going to pick it up because I wanted to buy every car, but uh, I did get it in a crate. So hopefully he gets supported by it, even though I got the crate. So I will uh, rip this thing today, see what we can do with it. Uh, it looks like we are at about 620 horsepower, 550 foot pounds of torque. And. Uh, we can uh, rip it a little bit. I've adjusted the suspension settings a little bit, made it softer, just the tire pressures and stuff like that as well. So we are going to just send it. We're going to activate our sponsorship, get a little extra credits. So it looks like we got Hill Climb, Long Beach, and The Yard. So we're just going to hit up Long Beach Formula Drift and uh, see how Slap's car does here for today. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. And... Uh, Let's see what happens. Slaps car. Haven't run it yet. Just tweaked it a little bit. We're going against Maddie in a E46. So I'm not sure what gears or anything I need to be using. But it looks like third gear is going to be our butter gear. Gonna throw that in. Feather throttle. Looks like we're just going to be banging red line. This car does have a decent amount of power. It probably should be in fourth. But I'm trying not to uh, bog the car down. Quick snap transition. A little bit too hard into that wall. Unfortunately, not a good first run out. But we still managed to get 50. I don't know how we did. And we did best that run. Because we did just get this car. So the ranking is a little low. So we're going to try and throw doors with this guy. And uh, get this car sideways. The Fanatec logo. Definitely, uh, definitely awesome since I do run a Fanatec. So... Wish I could get the actual Fanatec on my cars. Devs, help me out here. Maybe get the Fanatec logo available for me. Maybe. I can put it on my uh, on my cars. So we are... Oh, the man hit the wall, but we managed to not hit him. And managed to somehow stay behind him in the G. So, first impressions of the car. It handles really well. Um, I know a lot of people have used it and said it was okay. It's good, but we did end up losing unfortunately he did get bested on the chase so we're gonna give this another shot so I know a lot of people were up in air about it about it being a low-powered car and stuff like that but we are shredding it having some fun with it it, it handles pretty well got a lot that giant wang gang on the back of this car so it's definitely a car that is different in the game because you can't get this car stock so the fact that it's in here with his uh, you know, custom livery and everything on that is pretty sweet too. So, like I said, I was going to pick it up because I wanted to pick up every single car. So I hope he still gets some support, even though I did get it from the crate. And we tapped the wall again. I'm getting too overzealous with this car, throwing it against the wall. We did get 74, so we did get a somewhat decent lead to 67. So hopefully we can come out with a W on this car. 370. We're going to try starting this in third and see what happens. I have to feather the e-brake there to get behind him. And we are a little bit behind. We have to cut that gap to gain some proximity to get some more chase points. There we go. Much better there. Gonna run this wide, cut him in. Oh, trying to stay behind that Z. We managed to pull a decent chase. I think we will take the win on that one. So the car handles very well. It's uh, very stable. We did take the win on that. Just barely, but we're going to go for a rematch against him. And hopefully we can uh, come out with a better lead run. I'm going to try throwing this in fourth. It's bogged down a little bit, but maybe it'll help. Ooh, yep, fourth gear is definitely not a butter gear. Too much. Not enough... Uh, not enough low power speed, so we have to downshift. So fourth gear, bad choice for me to go into on this run. So third gear is the gear that we need to run with this car right now. And unfortunately, we had a very bad run. 
yeah, we're we're not going to be able to uh, chase that and be able to come out with a win on this run for sure. But still getting acclimated to the car it is on a lower power scale, but it does handle pretty well. I could probably tweak the uh, final drive a little bit if I it has the ability to tweak it and probably get the car to run the fullest gear. But we are just trying to get as close as we can on this man right on the dude's door and then taking in his door on that final section. So we're gonna switch it up, maybe switch up tracks and see what other things we could run with this car for today's episode. And we're not gonna go one more time, dude, I'm sorry. We're gonna, we're gonna try a different track and see how this car handles on other tracks. Let's see, we got hill climb, we got the jump. We're gonna take this on some jump drifts, see how this thing rips the jump drifts. I'm not sure if the power is gonna be there, but we're definitely gonna give it a shot and see how this goes on the jump. Looks like we got a almost stock Miata. Starting second. Kick it in third. Initiate on the wall. Great initiation. Right on that guardrail. Flick it over. Not as close to the wall as I'd like to be there. But we will uh, flick it back and hopefully we can run this wall. Not what I want to do. I don't want to run the wall. Sorry, slap kind of wrecked your bumper. We're bad. Sorry, it was just a tap, right? It's all good. We did finish with uh, over 60, so not the best lead we could have ever done because we uh, smacked that wall a little bit too hard. But the initiation was uh, initiation was on point, throwing really hard against the wall, and that man must have wrecked because I am not sure. What happened to that guy? So he probably wrecked hardcore. So we're gonna have to ease up a little bit. That was a... The car handles the jump pretty well. Oh, there it is. There's a, there's a bit of a wreck. Now we're just kinda all going through this man. There's a little Miata. Killing cones, cone killers. Oh, killing doors too. Ouch. Well, unfortunately, we uh, are having a little demolition derby right now here in Torque Drift because uh, well, he messed up, I messed up. We had a few laughs, we wrecked some bumpers, and we ended the run. So we're going to do the jump probably one more time here. See if we can't get another close tandem, then maybe switch up to the hill climb. And we are ranking up now in the car because I haven't run it yet, so it's still the low ranking that it comes with. So I'm sure the higher rankings I get, the more intense tandems will happen. A.A. Ron is here in his uh, pretty interesting colored car. So we're gonna start it in third. Feather that you break, we're gonna try and uh, get another nice wall jump. Not as aggressive as entry as the last time, but we're gonna stay close to the wall. Would have liked to have gotten a lot deeper onto that zone and gotten some more wall rides, but we're gonna try and not smack the bumper on this one. Feather off, just graze the wall. Come on, grazing the wall a little bit too much. The bumper caught, but we still managed to save that run nonetheless. So I do like the car, it handles very well. Um, maybe some fine tweaking on the suspension and uh, be a nice medium powered car to uh, rip around and have some fun with. And uh, this man is taking forever. Hey, hey Ron, you done messed up, hey, hey, Ron. Sorry, 80 to 31. He's not going to want to go again. So he's going to forfeit that run. And I feel like he's not going to want to rematch. So we're going to go take a look at the hill climb. See if this car can make it up the hill. I'm not sure. It probably will. But will I be able to do it in drift is the question. And that will be answered here momentarily. So if you guys have this car and you like it, let me know down below as well as uh, if you guys want to keep seeing torture, obviously you do because you guys keep coming back and watching it. So big thank you to you guys. Appreciate all the support. And thank you to the game devs for supporting me and the channel as well here with this game with me being a sponsor and everything in this game. A big thank you to the game devs as always. Oh, no. Well, we took off the front bumper. And I was not 
sure this car was going to be able to do this hill climb that well. And we're determining that it's not the best hill climb car. You need a little bit more oomph behind this car or a little bit more grip in order for this car to do what I want it to do on the uphill. Car looks pretty cool without a bumper though. But we did get a way better uh, lead than our competitor. So, you know we're gonna take this car to Cali Banks and see how it runs the bank before we end this episode off. I have to test every car at Cali because it's uh, my yes and no course. I love it, I hate it, but okay. Um, well, that happened. We just kind of uh, ripped each other together, and uh, that is exactly all she wrote for that S15. I do have S15 build coming. I'm bringing back my S15. A lot of you guys have been asking for the S15 tunes and such, so I am rebuilding my S15, getting it up to status, and uh, we'll be bringing a full build breakdown of my S15 as I bring it back here into rotation of cars that I am driving. So we're going to go test this car on Cali Banks to end this episode off and uh, see what it does on the bank of Cali. So we're going to go practice Cali Banks where to go. And we're going to hit the bank. Hopefully not actually hit the bank. Hopefully we can do a nice, uh, nice run on the bank, nice wall ride, and... Uh, finish this episode off with some nice points so as always i'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching i do appreciate all the support and all the comments initiate in feather off there we go nice and high a little bit too high scraping the wall not really what i wanted to do i feel like i need to kick this car into fourth gear here at cali yeah we're gonna retry that Ugh, nobody saw that Nobody saw that, but we're going to try it again before we end this episode off. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of them found in the description box below. And as always, a big thank you to you guys for the support and the continuing growing support here on the channel. Just a, just, a, just a little grace. We're going to continue this run. Just a little wall tap. No big deal. So... Some fine tuning I would have to make to this car suspension and stuff like that to get it to handle how I would like it to, but an overall stable solid car as we just dip it into the wall. Sorry slap. Sorry I damaged your G. So as always, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the next one and on the track.